All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Starting off the day with Morrow versus Huang Sin. These two players going to be pitted on Antigua Shipyards. And of course, I'm joined alongside my good old friend. Take a gun run. Take a gun run? No, no, no. I'm just saying. It's okay. the gun run. It is I, gun run. Hello, everyone. Yes, and we're heading into a sweet Protoss versus Zurich match. Can't wait to check this out. It is our dear old friend Huang Sin and my dear old friend Morrow. Oh, I am so in love with uh, this matchup. I have a question real quick. Yes, yes, I, I yes, know yes. this is going to be a little bit off, but, um, you know, people have asked me, are you the Greatorp? Do people ever say, are you the, the gun run? The, the gun run? <laughs> Not yet. But if the first person... <laughs> I don't know. I might give a prize <laughs> to whoever says that the first time. Are you the, 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 the gun, gun run? run? <laughs> Maybe one day, Greatorp. Maybe one day I'll be that. The, the, the gun run. Yeah. The, the, the. The, the, the. The, 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 the. They were last that we have plus uh, two points. these two players playing on Tiga Shipyards, one of a great, great map from the NASL Season 2 map pool. Yes, now it is. Now tomorrow. Oh, go ahead. Yep, NASL and Tiga Shipyard, one of the maps from Ladder we've brought over over here to the NASL pool, I suppose. Jimmy Crickets. But yes, it is quite nice. And Jimmy Crickets indeed. So let's get started here. Spawning over at the 9 o'clock position, our uh, red Protoss player. It is Gosu Hongsen. Very nice. Yay! GGGL. Yes. And over here with uh, the blue Zerg, we do have Mal's Mara spawning over here as or in the 245 position. Now, you know, one thing I miss hmm. so much about like the Korean scene is when they chant, you know what I'm talking about? The one, two, three, <laughs> Mara fighting. fighting. Absolutely, man. That's like <laughs> something that I really miss from the man, Brood War yeah, days. I miss being in Korea, man. When I was over there, I got to check out a pro league and there were so many high school girls oh, there. And sick, right? when you have that many high school girls all together, just like counting down, it's just so amazing. When are we going to have that, Grant Orp? Uh, when are we going to have that? If I had that high pitch of a voice, I would <laughs> snap call and do that every single oh, time. Absolutely. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, Not yet. And I feel no. like it's <laughs> awkward for me to go into a high school and invite people to a StarCraft game. Uh, for now, but one day that'll be, be socially acceptable. And uh, that's when I'm you pretty know sure you've made it. I will never be socially <laughs> acceptable to go into a high school and ask people to do that. Oh, but you're great. Okay. I am great, Torp. <laughs> you're but, the great, Torp. Uh, you know, my age only goes <laughs> up, and it just gets creepier. <laughs> Divide by, divide by two plus seven, Red Torp. That's all I'm gonna say. Divide by two plus seven. So anyway, right now I will so be well in a little. B well, <laughs> I will be uh, 19. That's 19. my my lowest oh. cutoff right the there. The fish cutoff. Yep. Yeah, I don't feel like dividing an e like an odd number right now, so I'm not gonna even mention my age. So yep, Moro here going with that hatchery, and uh, yes, we do have our spawning pool up already though. So spawning pool first, hatchery later, and yes, getting the extractor up already. Yep, so gone to um goes to Huantan, already gone and spotted this out. He's just uh, going around more on the other hand. Oh, actually, actually is already inside of his own base. And yeah, just seeing what's up. He made a triangle. Yeah. Very and it does Very look like it is. Let me go ahead and Yeah, it is pretty geometrical. Look at that Is that a ninety degree? degree? That is a That's ninety degree angle. It looks like it's a forty five, forty five, ninety. That meaning it whatever the sides of these, this will be the sides X radical to X radical to radical to the, the um, uh, hypotenuse. Right? That's going to be the measurement of the hypotenuse, yes. just to let you know for a 45-45 as opposed to a 60-30-90 which is uh, X, 2X or it depends if I'm talking about the... Uh, okay, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Professor Grazer. I was actually intrigued for a moment there because I forgot well, most uh, of it's this. It's a lot to, to, so if lot I to have a diagram. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, and it's hard to draw diagrams. There's no telestrator feature if, in this If game. the thirty, the side opposite to the 30 is X, you have the other side is 2X, mm -hmm. and the last side is going to be radical... 3x, I believe. Gosh, mm -hmm. it's been I so long. I can't wait for the future of esports when we all have telestrators, so we can actually th draw out these mathematical formulae. I oh think that's plural, right? Yeah. And like, this, this, like accurately. I think it's formulae. Formulae, formula. I don't Form know. <laughs> yeah, I don't whatever know. it may be. Dude, uh, we'll I'm, do it I'm one a day. math major. I'm <laughs> definitely not, definitely not a uh, an English major. So <laughs> I just, I just say two plus two equals four. And that's all you need to say because you know that's plus true. Plus or minus square to b square minus four ac over two a quadratic uh, two formula. <laughs> uh, wow, way to say that super fast. Um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. There we go. High five. Yup, you just high fives. <laughs> um, anyway, let's see what's going on back in the game. So how much um, About halfway done with the second nexus right now. We do have three gateways already up. 
Yep, he has gone for the one gateway expand, going for that nexus first before the second and third gateway is are popped up. I do like this type of style. Uh, interesting to note that he has tons and tons of sentries, four sentries, to start us out with things. So this is what we have been seeing from current current playstyle and current metagame of PvZ. I'm interested to see what Morrow does. Normally we do see a very quick third being taken off this, but no quick third taken just yet. He's just droning the mm -hmm. crap out of his holy crap. 13 oh, in wow. production. Very cool. Let's go ahead and look at the income tab. 41 to 28. It's going to be a lot more pretty soon. And this is this is a great position for yep, Morrow. About to see a mineral explosion here as well as a creep explosion, hopefully. I do love when Morrow does decide to creep out oh so well. And there we go. Double spine crawler too, just in case he knows that. But he gets a Protoss. And uh, yeah, anything is possible there. Even saying that one link does spot that there are three um, three gateways there. And yeah, here we go, Hong Sen moving out with a nice fleet of these sentries. So five sentries, now he will just return to us, taking out that one uh, uh, one Zergling. But yes, Moro is indeed creeping it up. A second creep tumor has been plotted down as well. Very cool this will be some sort of aggression coming out from Hong Sen. We do see a fourth and fifth gate are up right now. And he's walled off completely. He just chuck that pylon in there so this will be a very very strong rush and Mars should see this based on how many sentries there are normally you don't see this many sentries eight sentries going out into the middle of the field so instantaneously I would expect him to throw down uh, additional spine crawlers get those zerglings out of there um you know, this is going to be tough for Mar to stop, to be completely honest. Uh, yeah, this will be a bit difficult. With that many sentries and the way this map is set up in this location, it's going to be very difficult. There it is, the proxy pylon, and he's heading it right up the ramp. It's going to be very instrumental how he decides to engage this and when he does, too. Looks like Kwong Sen will check for the third. Uh, but yeah, looks like he doesn't see it at all over there. There's plenty of creeps, so he will have that speed advantage on there um, when Moro does decide to engage. But yeah, here we go, looks like. Another pylon as well. Yep, what I love about this tomorrow is throwing down the additional oh, spine shoot. crawlers. Now, finally, the zealots are coming. And what is he going to do? Yep, there's the map warping. He does have vision of the high ground due to those units on top. Moro will go after that probe just to ensure. Yeah, no more problems will be coming up. But yeah, these two queens are doing the best as they can as those zerglings are holding those zealots back. Now, forced to flee. We do have some bailings being morphed up right now. Oh, and Morrow in a He's lot of trouble. He might have works. to pull drones right now. There are so many sentries, so many stalkers right here. And oh my oh, god! Oh, it does make it work! With those banelings, wow. able to take out those so many sentries just right there. Pretty cool. That was so clutch, but you know what? Morrow oh, is still yeah, in a lot of trouble hard, here. Yeah. He's rallying a lot of zerglings. Plus one is just about to finish. Just 15 seconds away. If he can get that, that will help him quite a bit at defending this. Drones being pulled right now. There are a lot of force fields that are able to go down. There they go. Not a huge concave. The banelings trying to explode, but they're not able to. Plus one has finished. Plus one armor is on its way, too. But there are just no units out for Morrow. Yeah, 18 zerglings are in queue right now. About 20 of them will pop soon. And yeah, continuously warping in. We see Huang Sen with those two proxy pylons there. And yeah, it's not looking that good at all. 75 to 50 in terms of food count differential in favor of our Protoss player. And we're going to lose this hatchery, excuse me, very soon. Yeah, and it looks like there's no chance for Mara to escape with these drones. They're just all getting decimated. It looks like these sentries are just cleaning things up meanwhile. And you know what? I, I have no clue what Mara can do from here. He does have plus one, one, one. Or plus one, one. But, um, you know, uh, just too many units coming out from Honks, and he's just going to wait for that yes. round carapace. Nope. GG. And Mara leaves the game. That's got to be pretty painful to be taken out like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... You know, I, I think he kind of suspected it, but he just did not do the necessary things. A lot of times, protests just go out and go into shark mode, we call it, where they s just poke out a little bit, say, hey, make some units, make sure you make things, uh, and then I'm just going to pull back. Normally, we don't see the five-gate continuation to that, but it's good that Huang Sen added that in there, mm -hmm. really caught Mara off guard, and, and Huang Sen's going to take an early 1-0 against his opponent. Yeah, it was just such a huge flood of momentum there as soon as he dropped both of those pylons down and continued just those warping units yep. that Mara really just could not handle that. He did have that nice bit of baneling luck, but really just wasn't enough, given that he could reinforce so well, Precisely. and Huang Sen just taking out that game. So we're proceeding to our second game here. See you soon.